Intel's Anniversary Edition 8086K is on sale, but can it overclock? Plus, we've got some rumors on Navi and Microsoft's new adaptive controller. Stay tuned. Welcome back to GamerMelt. Intel's Anniversary Edition i7-8086K isn't the company's first anniversary CPU, but the chip it's based off of is definitely one of their most significant, paving the way for our current desktop CPU's x86 architecture. So what does the new 8086 bring to the table? Well, not too much, but at the very least higher clocks. The $425 CPU is a 6-core 12-thread chip that comes with a base clock of 4GHz and a very nice boost of 5, but with the caveat of being a single-core overclock. Don't worry though, this is the K-Edition CPU so users can give it all it's got and you know someone's going to push it to the absolute extreme. That person is usually from the YouTube channel Der Bauer, our favorite German D-Litter. This time he was able to get it all the way up to an incredible 7.24 GHz. Now if you hadn't already guessed, this was on liquid nitrogen so it's not the average user and really it would kill your CPU super fast so don't even try it, please. The interesting part is that DeBauer has clocked the 8700K up to 7.3 GHz. Now hold on, before you get your pitchforks, it took him quite a few different 8700Ks to find one that could. This on the other hand was his first 8086K. So this is more than likely just a heavily binned 8700K. Of course we expected as much, and whether you think it's good or bad is up to you. Basically, if you're in the market for a lottery winning 8700K, you can pick up the Anniversary Edition i7-8086K right now, which I'll have linked in the description. And speaking of overclocking, we all know the best way to do it, to not use toothpaste. I changed the design a little in the no toothpaste t-shirt, as well as the producer to bring the price and shipping down. Also, make note that I'm going to have a Q&A on the GamerMail Discord server this Friday at 5pm Eastern Time. It should be a lot of fun. To join the server or get the no toothpaste shirt, check the links in the description. Next up in the news are some rumors going around regarding Navi, AMD's upcoming GPU architecture. Originally reported by PC Games Hardware and later verified by PC Games N that at least those they talked to at Computex seem to have the same information. Apparently Navi is expected to launch late in the first quarter of next year. Now they did note how early it is to project accurately so it could easily be later. The interesting part is that, according to PC Games Hardware, Navi isn't expected to compete against Nvidia's top contender next year. Instead, they'll focus more on the mid to low end market as they did with Polaris. This actually goes with earlier rumors from Fudzilla, so it does seem there could be something to it. To bring the cost down, the new GPUs are rumored to use GDDR6 instead of the more expensive HBM2 as they did in Vega and their current Instinct cards. Now it's good to know that this is nothing but a rumor at this point and AMD's graphics head has already stated that they plan to go head to head with everything Nvidia has. Of course he could be referring to next time around plus it's not like he could say anything different. I Xbox. Lastly, Microsoft's upcoming controller called the Adaptive Controller which is made to help those with disabilities game is officially available for pre-order. The $100 base controller has two big programmable buttons, as well as 19 jacks to attach peripherals like the quad stick to certain buttons so users can customize the controls and controller based on their needs. And honestly, this is really amazing. While many will say Microsoft doesn't actually care about the users, I highly doubt they'll make their money back, and I commend them for using their resources to help the gamers who can't access games as easily as others. Pre-orders are expected to ship in September, so make sure to check those out if you're interested. So while that does it for today, what did you think of the news? Excited for the 8086K or are you drooling over Navi? Let me know down in the comments below.